Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley and welcome to today's video. So in my last video, I was teasing a pretty big announcement and um, here it is. If you haven't read by the title, I bought a full. So basically, I'm gonna be telling you guys about the fold that I bought, which is so mind-blowing to say, that is so crazy. So basically, in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys about the fold that I bought, which is absolutely insane that I can even say that. Um, I am so fortunate that I've had the opportunities that I have, and not to mention the fact that I can't believe I'm buying a fifth horse. I literally bought Ophelia, like, back in the fall, like in November of last year, and I've literally bought a fifth horse. That is. That is insane. But yeah, without rambling on for too long, let's get into today's video. So before we get started, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this in the comments. Um, no, the full does not currently have a name yet. I am currently stressing out so much over what I'm going to even name them. So basically when we went away, I had absolutely no intention of buying a horse. I have absolutely no need for another horse right now. There is no reason for me to have bought one. We were there to buy horses for our clients as well as for my dad and my brother. So um, I, I was completely not gonna buy a horse when we went down there. And as you guys know, I already have four mares and buying a horse literally not even a year after buying Ophelia was just completely crazy. It was not even in the books like when I was on my way there. But after we were riding all of the horses that we were trying for clients that weekend, we went to go visit all of the owner's foals, which were super adorable. And while we were there, my dad jokingly asked if any of the foals were for sale. And the owner, Don, who was with us, uh, said yes. So what's the, what's the deal on the appy? Cause that's a little filly. So Carol, Carol wants all those ones, right? She won't sell those ones. And again, we're not allowed to have any of the appies. <laughs> That's a great grandchild. We can't buy that one now? So that's when I started thinking, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Am I actually going to buy a foal, let alone a foal that looks like that? But anyways, before I ramble on too long, let me show you guys my filly. So the filly is an absolutely adorable little blanket appy. She is so cute. I am absolutely in love with her. So basically a few things needed to be worked out before it was totally official that the filly was mine. So first off, the filly is the first granddaughter um, from a beloved mare that belonged to Don and his wife, Carol. So this filly means a lot to them. So Don started off with asking his wife, Carol, if the filly was even available for sale. Plus there was quite a few other things we had to work out like stalls at home, how to get her home, what we were gonna do with her, all the different kind of stuff. There was so much stuff to work out before it was like totally like confirmed that she was gonna be mine. So while we were there, Don actually introduced me to the Philly Sire, who is a super handsome stallion. And the name of the stallion is Alberto Mojito. So Mojito was actually born in Argentina and he was imported to Canada to be part of Don and Carol's breeding program. And 
and his breeding is an Argentine thoroughbred and for those of you who don't know what that means or don't know polo pretty much the Argentine thoroughbred is the most common breed that you'll find in polo other than like thoroughbreds or x-ray sources. So I have told you guys about her stallion and now let me tell you about her mom. So my Philly's mom is named Cookie. She is the mare that you see in the video with her. So Cookie is actually the daughter of Oreo who I was telling you about earlier. Oreo is Don and Carol's beloved mare that they had for years. But yeah, I am super, super excited. I really hope you guys are excited too. I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm plan to document her entire growth. I plan to take you guys along with me, training her, bringing her all the way to the point where she is finally gonna be playing polo one day. That is a ways away because she was born in May. So if you guys are new to my channel and you wanna follow along the journey of my little filly, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos and I would love to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other socials like TikTok and Instagram. I will leave those on screen as well as link down in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I am so beyond excited and I will see you guys later.